So let's see how we can solve this question. So find the one over the x if y is equal to what I have here. Again, this is a function of tetration. So how do we solve this? Our key to solving this lies on if we can express the term on the right hand side properly. So if you have x, this, then to part 3 by the left hand side, what does this mean? From our idea about tetration, which we've discussed in our previous class, this is equal to x raised to power of x raised to power of x. I would have this, right? So this means x to itself, okay, raised to itself three times. So I have this. So this is like the expression of what I have here. Now, if I have this one here, what do I do next? Now, with this, it means that I'll have that if y is equal to x to power 3, that's this on the left hand side, this will be equal to x to power x to power x three times, all right? It's an exponent. So, how do we solve this question? First things first, I'll pick out this term here and this term here. So, I'm having y being equal to x to power x to power x. Your first step here is to take lean of both sides, which is the natural log of both sides. So I have that lean of y is equal to lean of x to power x to power x. I have this. Okay. Now what happens here? From the concept of logarithm, all right, lean means the natural log, as we discussed in our previous class. We have that lean of y will be equal to, so when I take the log of a number, the power comes down. In this case, this power comes down here. I'll have x lean x to power x. So I have this. All right, so I have this case now. So how do we now solve this question? What do we do here? Now to solve this question here, first things first, on the left-hand side, we have this. We have lean y. Don't forget that we said when you differentiate lean x, Right, excuse me. Don't forget that we said when you differentiate lean x from the concept of differentiation, you have 1 over x. Now, the same way, if I differentiate lean y, I would have what lean y, I would have 1 over y. Now, since I'm differentiating a y, I will add the y over the x, as we also discussed in our previous class. This is equal to for this term here, this term is multiplying this term. So this is my u and this is my v. So I'm going to use product rule here. Now for the product rule concept, would say let u let u be equal to x. We we'll have that du over dx is equal to. If I differentiate x, I'll have one. Also, let v be equal to lean x to power x. Now, what happens if I differentiate lean x to power x? What do we get? Now, in our previous class, we, did, we, we got the answer to this in our previous class. In our previous lesson, um, I'll leave a link to that lesson here. When we did this one here, our answer was x to power x into 1 plus lean x. That was our answer. All right, so we I did the solution of this, this question in our previous class. So you can check it up later. I also leave a link to this solution in the video description. So hence, this will be equal to using product true here. Since u is multiplying v, product true is v, which is lean, v, which is lean x to power x. So v into du dx. If you look at this, du dx is 1. So this into 1 plus u, u is x into dv dx so as you can see here u is x into dv dx dv dx is okay um into dv dx dv dx is x to power x into one plus lean x so we have this all right so i'll have something of this nature as my work now i'm proceeding proceeding from here i'll have 1 over y into dy over dx being equal to this times 1, right, gives you itself. So I'll be having lean x to power x plus 
for the right hand side or for this one here this becomes x multiplies this now notice that x multiplying x to power x gives you x dot x to power x that's what you have all right of course if these two are multiplying the power here is one if you want to right so if i multiply then it becomes x into one plus x that still works so more like saying uh, we said if the same base are multiplying simply add the power so it becomes x into 1 plus x the power here 1 plus the power here x that works so therefore I'll just take this one off that becomes x into 1 plus x so i have x into 1 plus x that's this one multiplying this into uh, let me put this in brackets this into i have 1 plus lean x so i have this all right so get what i'm doing here all right so x into this gives you x into one plus lean x then into this all right so i have this um any like terms here not really all right so the next step will now be multiply true by y so multiply true by y multiply true by y Multiply true by well, what? What do we get there? We we'll have that y multiplies the left hand side one over y into the y over dx is equal to y multiplies everything on the right hand side, and that be y into lean x to power x plus x into one plus x into one plus lean x so we have this all right uh, let me write this properly okay so one plus lean x all right so we have this all right so proceeding with this if i multiply this you observe that from here y will cancel y I am left with dy all over dx being equal to, for this, y multiplies this. What do I have there? Um, but y has a value. Let's just replace the value of y. But y, if you look at the value of y, y is actually equal to um, x to power x to power x. Okay. That becomes x to power x to power x. Okay. That becomes x to power x to power x that's y multiplying lean of x to power x plus x into one plus x this into one plus lean x then this all right so you have this for an answer if you want to you can see express your answer in term in terms of of tetration if you want to right that's still okay um if you want to express it in terms of tetration um i'll just break this down to being dy over dx it's equal to now this would be x to power x to power x into what i have here is lean what i have here of course is x to power x plus this one here becomes now don't forget that we got this one here this this one here was just simply um this one here that's x multiplying x into this was x multiplying x to power x that becomes this into x multiplying x to power x so this whole value gave us what i have here okay into one plus lean x so i have this so i'm trying to break this down so i can express it as a tetration so if this is true in terms of the tetration this will be equal to this value here is simply x this right into this now becomes lean x and i have two here right plus x into what i have here is simply x could okay, dot x this that's the tetration symbol into one plus lean x this and then we have this so basically this is what we would have as an answer so as not to confuse this as being x squared times x we would have to rewrite this one here so hence we'll have an answer as being equal to 
this x okay into lean of course this also look like lean squared so let's just put it in brackets lean of this in brackets so it looks proper plus i'm bringing this one out first so plus this of x okay now multiply this by the x here to become multiplied by x into one plus lean x this so we have this all right so basically this is what the answer would look like in terms of tetration all right so if you enjoyed this video please make sure you like this video all right like this video leave a comment what do you think about the question was it difficult did you understand it if it's your first time here please make sure you subscribe so you can have or you can see our next content and don't forget to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn do well to also visit my website www.jonahimane.com you can check the courses section or the book section to see the available books and courses thank you and see you in the next class.